Hi guys, I wanted to show you the original Data Hands DH200 units. They came out of uh, Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona from Industrial Innovations. Uh, they came out in 1993 and they are still going strong in my setup. Uh, I've been using one since 1993, uh, now being 2016. When Data Hands Systems went out of business in 2004, uh, I was uh, offered the chance to take all of their back stock of broken and repair parts and uh, trade it in data hands and had the chance to build them and I managed to build a number of systems um, half of which I gave back to data hand systems because they couldn't pay anybody at the time because they were going out of business and I received the other half which was great for me because that means that I had data hands for life uh, it was also great because I'd worked with the engineers there for many years and was um, honored to have the opportunity to make the last data hands to ever come out of data hand systems. So these are DH200 units uh, inside of the interface box is an upgraded firmware which uh, enables better uh, PS2 mouse mode and PS2 keyboard integration. Um, it also enables something that the DH200 did not originally have. If you're familiar with them, you probably would never have seen a little uh, plug on the side of them. The Pro 2s had it as an option. Plug that back in. What that does is it gives this a foot switch. And I've hooked it up to this tread light, uh, this tread light 2 switch, which, I mean, these will last for 20, 30 years uh, in daily use just for uh, switching these. So if you're familiar with data hands, you can switch them into numbers and punctuation mode and you can shift them. And if you put both thumbs down, which I can't do because I'm holding the camera, puts it into mouse mode uh, and function key mode. Well, the uh, foot switch does the same thing. So I don't know if you can see that well on the video, but the red lights are now lit which means that it is in mouse mode. So with this foot switch on the floor, you can switch it in and out of mouse mode without having to hold your thumbs down. So I had worked with uh, Data Hands as a feature to put these into the original uh, DH200s, but they didn't get the feature out uh, in mass until they built it into the Pro 2s. Um, however, the engineer that I knew um, showed me where to pick up the correct signal line and he gave me the upgraded firmware before the company folded up and so we have a working um, foot switch for these units. So I have the last stock of DH200 data hands uh, in the world and uh, I'm putting some of them up for sale now. So one of the nice capabilities that having uh, PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard gives you is that you can hook them up to USB controllers to plug them into a laptop. So if you don't have a desktop computer where you can just plug them straight into your mouse and your, and your keyboard wire, you can run these into USB controllers and get them hooked up to your computer that way. And that'll work for um, Mac and certain Linux operating systems that all pick up the keyboard and work. Uh, one of the things that I recommend, uh, sadly, don't use a Belkin adapter. I've tried. They don't work. But almost any other $5 USB converter will work. The other thing that's a little bit tricky is you should run two of them, one for mouse and one for keyboard. And when you run them independently, they seem to work fine. Um, when I've hooked mouse and keyboard up to the same controller, uh, I've had trouble. Um, where sometimes it'll boot up and it'll recognize one over the other. Uh, I don't know if it's these particular adapters that I have or, uh, well, just let's say if you hook them up and you have any trouble with it, um, try two adapters. It has worked flawlessly for me for many, many years. All right, your data hands, when you receive them, will be packed in their original packaging. Uh, they'll be packed such that you'll have your two data hands um, with the um, hand pads, power supply over here, you'll have the interface box, and you'll have a set of wires that will connect to the data hand units and to PS2 mouse and keyboard. Um, when you get them, keep the box. It is very handy for shipping them. Um, if you have to store them for any length of time. Uh, I used to use them when I was a road warrior going from contract to contract. I would pack them up and, uh, and take them on the plane with me in the overhead 
uh, bin. Um, one other thing about uh, packing these up is uh, always adjust the finger wells down to the minimum position, both of them, because the foam insert um, has this raised area that fits right in there. And uh, if you try to jam it down there without lowering the finger wells, you could uh, you could break uh, one of the one of the switches. So always lower them to the minimum position, and then you just put the foam on there. Okay, So here you have it, an opportunity to pick them up um, with recent software enhancements and a foot switch.